It looks like retail is back in fashion. Names like Tiffany and Macy's, Dillard's, Kohl's, TJ Maxx, all on rallying over the past three months, surging 20% or more. TJ Maxx hitting an all-time high today, in fact. As earnings kick off next week, what do we do? Do we keep on betting on, on retail? Gang, what do we think? Well, I tell you what, I, I think if you think of some of the names you just mentioned, uh, they were favorites a couple years ago at the expense of everybody else. What we've seen over the last, say, month, I should say couple months, um, and really even since Black Friday, is that the discretionary names that were left for dead have proven that not only are they running their businesses better, but that the valuations got so cheap that they actually were interesting. And I think you stay in a lot of those names. I agree. The valuations got really, really cheap, overdone for sure, even though they've rallied a lot. Remember, the whole market's rallied, so the valuations relative to the rest of the market is still attractive. And, if, you know, something like Coors today, that's probably good for Macy's, probably good for where they do wholesale. I, I like it. Staying long. Okay. Guy. Well, I'm gonna. I mean, I you know, I got some. I got a power pitch coming on. Yes, I mean, I so do. You. you saw it. You saw it before. I'm almost afraid to see what's coming. Do you want me to walk over there Go now? Ahead, I please. mean, should sashay I just please? So, should I sashay? Yes. I have a request. Please. Could this be a fast pitch? Is oh, this, look at that. The fast pitch. And now look. They're walking up. Hill. I, Why is he getting? I have to uh, walk to see walking the walk. Uphill? No, because they want me to right walk like Fred. Um, right said Fred. Paul Newman. Right said. But look, this is going to be crazy. And I know people would be like, "You're out of your mind. How are you going to pitch a retail?" But you know what? I'm going to pitch Nordstrom's. And why is that? Last quarter, the stock got obliterated on earnings. But if you look closely, it really wasn't an earnings thing. It was a comps thing. The comps were miserable. But they beat on the top line, and they beat on the bottom line. Valuation, all right, 14 times forward earnings. You could say it's expensive, but it's not ridiculous when you look at the rest of the space. 12% short interest. We've seen what happened to big short interest stock over the last six months. I would suggest 12% is significant. And the last one, improving margins. And how do I get there? I'll tell you how. Last quarter, inventories were down 1.9%, down 1.9%, and you had sales growth of 5.8%. Sales growth Suggests to me that you're going to see a much better margin number this quarter. With everything shaping up, if you look, this stock came back from last quarter. It's bumping up against these levels that we've last seen over the last six months. I think, like some of these retail names, this sets up for a breakout to the upside. And I'll mention this. Dana Telsey, who is the axe in the space, they just raised their price target in the name. So I think Nordstrom's has a real chance here to surprise people on the upside. All right. How about questions for Guy? Who has I, one? I got a quick one for Go you, Guy. Petey. So here's my question for you. TJX, Scott was just talking about the fact that it hit 52-week highs today, right? Or all-time highs. Is this something you'd ever compare to a Nordstrom's because of the fact that they've got the discount, they've got Nordstrom Rack, and that's where they're seeing so much growth right now? Yeah, and you make a great point. I'll tell you right now. Sales growth, uh, digital sales last quarter were 29%. Digital growth the same quarter the prior year was 25%. So you're starting to see them do much better digitally. You've talked about it as well, Pete. The Nordstrom stories has changed. Now, look, they had their investor day a month ago, and it didn't overwhelm people. But the stock is held in there. So I think the setup is such that it could surprise, and that's why I'm saying Nordstrom's is my power hey, guy, pitch. Guy, yes, Tim. Yeah, um, quick question. Was that blue steel? And, in fact, with the tie, the wrap around the head, and, and if so, do you think you have more blue steel than Derek Zoolander? I mean, that's the easiest question you've ever asked me. I mean, first of all, Blue Steel, the movie with Jamie Lee Curtis, must watch. Talked about commodities trading number one. Blue Steel with the Gucci guy that mentioned, Sand Sandler or Stiller. Yeah. They asked me to do it. I turned it down. They gave it ben to him. Stiller. But my still <laughs> was much better Derek than his still. Zoolander. Blue Steel. Vote. All right. What are we doing on the fast pitch? Which way are we Karen, going? Karen, let's go Start you with first. Karen. I'm really not an artist. The other guys are. But I'm buying with guys. I like it. Love the sachet, too. After you nice put work. your fingernails on the chalkboard again, I mean, can, you, can you reveal your, I mean, oh, well, what was all, that? I don't know why we were given chalkboards, and I was given a marker to write it up, but that's a, yes, I'm a buyer. I actually think JWM massively has lagged the department right, stores. Like, I like that was painful. Like nails that on the board. was painful, yeah. But, but nice job. I think it is all about the rack, and I think Guy Excuse points me? that out. When you're competing with TJ Maxx, and Burlington, and all the rest of them, Ross, they're doing a great job over there with Nordstrom's. Giddy up. It's a lot of words on there. I it's appreciate that. Of, you know, I wanted to make it's sure it's hard it to read, but you know, 14 p. Thank you. The whole thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like cool. it. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Wow. Nice pitch, guy. <laughs> Thank you, Petey. Wise all the way around.